everyone. For this video, I'd like to demonstrate the Spitfire Mark 9 startup procedure using the Heritage Flight Simulation, Spitfire Cockpit, um, and DCS World. So first of all, what we'll be doing is just checking that all these switches are in the off position um, and all the levers are in the full backwards position. So we start on the left hand side um, and we just check that these switch, switches over here are off and we'll be adjusting that trim wheel later in in the actual simulation. Um, the carburetor control is off, fuel cutoff is off, throttle is back, air screw fully forward and the undercarriage indicator light is off, um, mags are off, oxygen is off, Flaps are up, the lights, navigation lights are off, gun sight is off, and moving down this side, we'll set the altimeter later, and these, the engine and boost covers are closed, supercharger is in auto normal position. Uh, the primer is closed, fuel supply is off, fuel pressure is off, gear is in down position, IFF is off, the fuel jettison is off, and that there is the wall pump which we will be using just now. So that is all in order and now we can go into the simulator itself. So here we are on a nice misty morning in Normandy and we are about to start up the Spitfire. Um, so previously we checked whether all the switches were in off position and now I'm just going to check that they're all in the same position. Um, also going to set the trim down. And yep, the switches are all flaps are up. And those are closed. Main fuel switch is off. And we are looking good. So we can start the sequence. I can put away my glove. And first of all, we will start by opening up the carburetor air. Um, and that is just so that the air is filtered when it comes through. Um, we will then switch on our undercarriage indicator by moving the throttle forward. And there you can see the little lights come on on the indicator that's looking good and then we can also see that the light has come on for fuel pressure and for that we will be putting on the fuel and we will be priming so first of all we're going to unlock the primer by turning it to the left hand side go and now we can prime it's about 20 degrees out so we're going to prime four times that's fine and we can lock and I'm going to bring the fuel pressure up with a wobble pump 
bump it ten times or until the light goes off then we've got sufficient pressure right um, the external fuel tank is off and I can open up the starter and booster coils and we can switch on the magnetos and I am going to set the brakes with the clip there we go brakes are set and I'm gonna crack the throttle open slightly and we are ready to start clear prop As soon as I hear it take, I move the mixture off and bring the throttle back. So that's the cutoff switch to the uh, to the full forward position, and we are idling. And I'm having a look to see whether I'm getting oil temperature and radiator temperature. I can close off the covers. And we will just wait for the oil temperature to go over 20 degrees. And we want the uh, radiator temperature to go over 60 degrees. In the meantime, I'm going to switch on the fuel pump. The fuel pump is on. Well, temperature is coming alive. We're still waiting for the radiator temperature. In the meantime, I am going to check some of my switch functions. There's the navigation lights leave them on for the moment and let's try the gun sight switch here we go gun sight is on and the dimmer is working switch that off for the meantime let's see whether the um, supercharger is working see whether we've got fuel that's just in the bottom tank which is full and I am going to check my supercharger uh, operation that's the next one and I expect the light to come on there's the light coming on when I press the switch close that Still waiting for my temperatures to come up. All right, temperatures are sufficiently up, so I can now remove brake lock and there we go and we should be ready to taxi And that concludes the startup procedure video.